Hey everybody, so sorry it's taken me so long to get on another makeup video, but here I am with my next one, which is going to be about mascara. Now I'm sure you're all sitting there thinking, what's there to talk about mascara? I've got one, I'm content, I'm happy. Yes, I understand, and you can have one mascara and be content and happy for the rest of your life. However, I happen to have three different mascaras, a few different reasons and I'm just going to sit here and discuss them with you. I'm going to start with my first one, which is the one that I've been loyal to, probably been using the longest, and probably the only one that I used for many, many years, until I got some samples of some other ones that I found I really liked, and that's when I started using more. So you can be content and happy for years with just one mascara, but when you find some other things, you like to try some new things, which is what I like to do. So... The first one that I have is my Mary Kay Waterproof Mascara in Black. Um, I like it because it's waterproof and it really is waterproof. It's got a nice little bristle brush that, you know, it works. It's small, but it's not too small and it's not too big either. And it it's good mascara. It doesn't clump a lot. And I'm going to talk about a trick that I use later that also helps as to why this doesn't clump so much. So that's the first one, just a simple waterproof mascara, holds true, waterproof, black, it works. It does what I need it to do. My next one is actually one I got as a sample and I found I really liked it. So I went out and bought it when I finished the sample. Um, this is Clinique's Lash Doubling Mascara in Black Brown. Now I got the black brown because I've always used black mascara and being blonde, my lashes are a little bit lighter than just black, but they're not completely blonde. So I got the black brown to kind of do a more natural look with my lashes. When I'm doing a natural look, the black brown really works and kind of helps with that. It's got a simple kind of cone bristle, which I like because the smaller end really works to get into the corners of my eye and the bottom lashes as well. The thing about this mascara, and this could just be a total illusion, and I could just be making stuff up, but it does, I feel it makes my lashes look a little bit longer, a little bit fuller, so I like that. It, again, not a lot of clumping. Part of it has to do with the trick that I use that I'll tell you about in a, a little bit later in this video, and it's just, it's nice. It, it works, you know, with my lashes, and I like it. My next one, again, is another one that I got as a sample. Really liked it, mostly for the brush. Went out and bought it. This is Sephora's Lash Plumper. Um, this one I love and got because I love, love, love this brush. And the thing about this brush is that it separates my lashes so well. And the thing is, I don't really think it actually plumps my lashes at all. It just separates them well enough that it looks like it's plumping my lashes. And... This is fantastic. I got it in black. It, um, it again, doesn't clump too much. Separates lashes really well. And the thing about um, this one and the Clinique one, like I talked about my waterproof mascara, these ones, I don't, they're not waterproof, but they don't run. Like, if I get teary-eyed or my eye starts to water, they don't necessarily run down my face, which... Is really nice. I mean, yeah, they kind of come off and you can kind of see, like, I'll get little lines under my eyes if my eye kind of starts to water from, like, if I, like, touch my eye. But that's really it. Like, it doesn't actually, like, run down my face with my tears, which is nice. So that is that one. I said I only had three. I actually have one more, which is a current sample right now. This is Urban Decay's Super Curl Curling Mascara. And I'm really on the fence about this one because... It just I'm not sure I like the brush. I'm not sure I like the mascara. I don't know what it is. This is one of those rubber bristle brushes, not like an actual brush brush. And, and as you can see, it's a little curved. And the reason why I'm not sure about this is because I have really bad clumping issue with it. And so I haven't used it a lot to figure out if I really like it. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my trick that I have and then I'm going to come back to this. What I do when I apply mascara, um, I know a lot of times people, you know, when they get their mascara, they're like, oh, I got to get the most mascara on my brush as possible. Oh, I need to, you know, I need to pump it and get it all on and then apply it. That is no good because the more mascara on the brush, 
the more clumps you're going to have. And you don't want clumpy lashes. So the best recommended thing is to do, just take it out and then use it. But even, even still, I don't use that. Even, look, look at all that mascara on the brush from what I just did. Like, that is so awful. And you do not want that much mascara on a brush. Like, that's, that's ugly. So what I do, I don't pump it. I don't do anything. I just take it out. And I have a paper towel. As you can see, it's a very messy paper towel. Um, don't use tissue because tissue will leave fibers on the brush and then they can get in your eye and irritate your eye. Um, this works a little bit better. <laughs> Dropping things. Um, I take the brush out and I wipe excess mascara. Like I take it and I put the brush in between the paper towel like that and then I wipe off all the excess mascara. And what that does, the, it still leaves mascara on the brush. Like there's plenty of mascara on the brush. And it's not really necessarily wasteful. I've used mascaras for months. And I think a mascara is supposed to last about three or four months before it technically expires. I've used mascara for that amount, the um, allotted amount of time that you're supposed to have it. And had plenty of mascara. Never had issues at all. So you may think this is wasteful. Really it's not because in all honesty there's so much mascara in that tube that you're probably not going to end up using. Anyway. So that's my trick, and it really helps because, and I think that's why it really helps with, with the Sephora one, because it, it's just like there's less on the brush, and it just it's, it helps so much. I get less clumping completely. Now, my issue with the Urban Decay, even when I do that, I still get clumps, and I don't know if it's the mascara or the brush, and that's kind of why I don't use it a lot. So I need to figure out if there's some kind of trick to it, to not getting clumps, or or what. I just, I don't know. So I'm on the fence about this. I'll let you know eventually when I decide if I figure something out. So we'll see about that. But those are my, my three choice mascaras in my colors. My waterproof, my natural, and one that really separates lashes really well. Um... This is the one I've been using a lot lately. It's the one I've got on right now. And as you can see, I have mascara on and I wiped the brush off. So, it's not a waste. And, yeah. So, I thank you all for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful or informative, perhaps. I hope my next makeup video doesn't take as long to get out. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!